Welcome to Thinking Outside the Soil with your host, Shani Alfalfa Seed, where we get to talk story and touch on topics about hydroponics and the farmers who grow the crops and creatures we need to eat. Good morning, good morning, and happy Thursday from the farm. Thank you for being with us on this beautiful morning. You know, I think about a lot of different things, and today I am going to do a webinar on some of the secrets that we've learned about being savvy chicken farmers. A lot of that's been taught to us because of our use of hydroponic fodder and sprouting our feed for our chickens. You know, it's pretty neat. So I am thinking about this revolutionary approach to farming that I believe will change the way we think about food production. One of the early hydroponic pioneers was Van Helmont, Jean-Baptiste Van Helmont. He was integral in discovering what it is in water that allowed plants to grow. And he believed that it was water gives all of those things that it was plants to grow. And hydroponic fodder isn't just some newfangled idea. You know, hydroponic fodder has been around for over thousands of years, and commercial hydroponic farming has been around for over 80 years. When we first heard the word hydroponics, it was from extension agent Dr. William Frederick Gerke from the University of California. And he paved the way, he was the first one to credit the term hydroponics. And his work early on showed that hydroponic farming used a lot less water, had uh, better yields than those grown in the field. But it wasn't just Gerke that showed how hydroponics can be so beneficial. From across the pond, Dr. James Schulthold Douglas of Oxford built upon Gerke's work, and he designed systems that were tailored to individual farmers in India. He showed that those Indians could be practical and the methods they developed were effective that led to a boom in a commercial hydroponic industry that we still see today. But even earlier on, before that man across the pond, the great horticulturist Luther Burbank predicted the benefits of hydroponic fodder when he said that he firmly believes that in the future, farming in the soil will be as obsolete as the horse and buggy. You know, as we face new challenges today in food production and these current supply chain disruptions and the changes that will inevitably come down the pipe, I believe it's time to heed Burbank's words and embrace hydroponic fodder. Hydroponic fodder is particularly promising because it offers a sustainable way for us to feed our livestock. Farmers can produce more feed with less space, less water, and less labor by growing crops like alfalfa, barley, cowpea, corn, clover, sunflower, and even duckweed. And now with the unpredictable nature of the current climate changes and those weather patterns that aren't there where they were before, we're seeing differences in crop yield. So hydroponic fodder offers a reliable source of feed year round. But we can't forget about the economic benefits of hydroponic fodder. By growing your own feed, Farmers can save money and control their feed costs. And that is a ex significant expense for livestock farmers. With greater control over the feed and our feed quality, we can produce healthier, happier animals, which ultimately translate to better meat, dairy, and egg products. Now, there are those out there that argue hydroponic fodder is too expensive or too complex for the average farmer. But as my professor, Dr. Akko at the University of Hawaii has shown, simple methods can be used to operate hydroponic systems. The recent advances in technology and the greater awareness of the benefits of hydroponic farming make it more accessible and affordable for all of us. So really in short, hydroponic farming 
and hydroponic fodder offers a way forward for sustainable, efficient, and reliable feed production. We must embrace this technology and work to make it more accessible to farmers everywhere. The potential of hydroponic fodder is enormous, and we've really only scratched the surface of what is possible. And Burbank also once said, we must experiment boldly to see if plants contain any useful qualities, and if they do, it is well to note them carefully, for in them may be new discoveries. It's those new discoveries that we can find through hydroponic fodder together. But that's all I have today for this Thursday. If you're interested in learning more about how hydroponic fodder is helping farmers save water, improve livestock quality, and become better stewards, head on over to thinkingoutsidethesoil.com to get yourself a copy of my book so you don't miss out on becoming part of this next agricultural revolution. Thank you for being with us on this beautiful morning. Join us again tomorrow. Take care and have a lovely day. Hey, before you go, check out the links below. And if you'd be so kind as to leave a rating and review and follow the show. For those with feathered friends, don't forget to get yourself some of our Blooming Health Farms Chicken Blend Sprouting Mix. This supplemental mix has been shown to give you some of the best eggs with the yummiest yolks. You'll have happy, healthy hens that abandon the feeder and give you eggs with high levels of vitamin A and omega fatty acids. So don't forget to get yourself some Blooming Health Farms chicken blend sprouting mix.